as soon as the camera started rolling, it's like Satan came to me and says, it's almost like I could see the devil say, see Shelly, everyone will love you now. I'll make you famous. It's the kind of fame few people imagine. It's like suddenly the producer went, where did you get this girl from? And so immediately I went from doing maybe an amateur to doing professional adult films with some of the famous porn stars. Shelley Lubin even won an award for best new rising porn star. But her claim to fame came with a high price. It was destroying me. I lost my femininity. I lost any piece of Shelley on the porn set. The girl from Glendora, California, never thought her life would come to this. As a child, Shelley gave her heart to Jesus Christ and hoped to become a preacher and a writer. I loved God so much. I, he used to talk to me all the time when I was little. I used to write poetry about him. I used to walk around and preach the gospel to anyone who would listen. Uh, I just really loved him as a little girl. Shelley's view of love crumbled the day her innocence was stolen. When I was nine years old, I was sexually violated by a teenage boy and his sister, which was my classmate. And I think carrying that around as a child, you don't know what to do with that emotionally. And so I was angry because I, I was curious about sex and it, and it made me feel love, but at the same time it felt dirty. So I just struggled with so much. So by the time I was a teenager, I just acted out. Shelley buried the pain under sex and drugs. By the time she turned 18, her parents had had enough. She was on her own and desperate for cash until someone offered her what seemed like easy money. A nice man walked over to me and then he put his arm around me. He says, you know, there's a man in the apartment complex who thinks you're real pretty and he wants to make love with you and you can make $35. I went, oh, I was horrified. I mean, I'd had sexual intercourse before, but I had never prostituted myself. Um, but then a part of me was like, you know what? I have no food. My parents don't care. God doesn't care. Why not? Because you know what? I don't care about myself anymore. And so I ended up being lured into the sex industry that way. Prostitution turned into a way of life. She got pregnant by a client, but decided to keep her baby. Over the next several years, Shelley would wrestle with her lifestyle and the relationship she had with God as a child. I never lost my faith in him, but I just, I felt like I lost my trust in him. I felt like I couldn't trust anyone and I needed to do what I needed to do. That was how I justified it. Prostitution lost its allure. Shelley feared being raped or thrown in jail like other women. And someone says, why don't you do porn? I said, porn? And they said, yeah. I said, I never even thought about that. Uh, who do you talk to? And she goes, yeah, do you know that they pay you like $2,000 for a movie? I said, for one movie? I said, well, how hard can it be? It's probably just like prostitution, only it's legal, and I wouldn't go to jail. So that really appealed to me. But what Shelley didn't know is the price she would have to pay as a porn star. Her first day on the set, she found out. Right when I walked in, it's like the satanic, dark anointing just fell on me. It was creepy, it was dark, it was eerie, it was nothing like prostitution. It was like, I knew that I was in the devil's territory. This was like the final frontier of Satan. And um, I just was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm gonna do this. Shelley went through with it, and her career took off. The fame and money became addictive. Behind the scenes, she fell apart. I didn't think I could walk away from the porn because what other option did I have? During her darkest moments, Shelley felt God's love reaching out to her, even sensing God's spirit before she would go before the cameras. He used to come in the room and go, please don't do this. He really did. He said, Shelley, please don't do this. I said, well, you're not taking care of me. What am I supposed to do? And I'm good at this. They love me. They think I'm great and my parents don't care, and God, you don't care. And Jesus says, I care. I bear it on the cross for you. I've already paid for all this. I'll forgive you. And I say, how can you forgive me? I've done so much. I've done so many bad things. Shelley wasn't ready to surrender her life to the Lord, but she did give up on life as a porn star. She caught a sexually transmitted disease and quietly left the adult film industry. Her next big wake-up call came head on. I got in a bad car accident. And my Miata went just like this, just, I thought for sure, I'm dead. I am going to die like this. I'm going to hell. That was my first thought. I am going to hell. And, um, and I landed totally perfect, not a scratch. I said, oh my gosh, God is so talking to me. I can never go back. I'm in big, what am I going to do, you know? And uh, right after that, I met my husband, Garrett. I was kind of at a low point in my life where I started using drugs. 
And when I met Shelly, here was this person who kind of, you know, met me where I was at, and we were uh, we were just best buds. I mean, we, we were inseparable. And um, I I never pursued Shelly, in uh, in a sexual way. It was more of a friendship way. Talks of the Lord and and Jesus when we were younger um, started developing and to a stronger friendship and and ultimately realizing that, hey, this thing is going in a whole different direction. The man who became her best friend soon became her husband. Together, Shelley and Garrett turned back to Jesus, and he helped them clean up their lives. I really started looking at God as a father, not some meet God up in the sky with a scepter saying, you know, follow the rules or you're in big trouble. God became a father to me. God miraculously healed her incurable sexually transmitted disease. But her emotional recovery took much longer. She struggled to learn how to be a wife and mother to her three girls. She searched the Bible for answers. I had to forgive everybody um, because I blamed everybody for everything. <laughs> and so God taught me about forgiveness because, see, he forgave me. How can I not? Shelley has also forgiven herself, and she's put the past behind her for good. When you practice God's principles on purpose, they become part of your nature. It is part of my nature to do 2 Corinthians 10, 5. It is part of my nature to cast down any negative thoughts. It took me years to practice that because you can imagine I had a lot of thoughts that I had to cast down. Satan was like, here's a movie, here's a movie, here's a scene, here's a scene. Remember when you did prostitution? Uh, it was overwhelming during recovery, and so I had to choose God's word. Shelly shares the freedom she found in Christ with her daughters and the world. God says to me, that's right. Not one ounce of your pain will be wasted. I work all things together for good, Shelly. Jesus is faithful to me in everything. He is so faithful.